<laughs> so where do you find Kenyan Warriors, the latest in espresso machine, grinders, and more? at the Specialty Coffee Association Expo in Seattle. Hey, espresso lovers, Mark here from Whole Lot They Love, and we were in Seattle for the 2017 Expo, and over the next week or so, we'll have a look at some new products from the show. Today, it's a Sete 30 from Barazza. It's due out in June. They gave us one a little early. It joins the Sete 270 and 270W in Barazza's Grind Straight Through lineup. And while the 270s are more oriented to grinding for espresso, the Sete 30 offers quality grinding for drip, pour over, and press brewing at a lower price point. From the show, here's Kyle Anderson from Barazza with more on the new Sete 30. Hey, so we're at the SCA Expo. I'm with Kyle Anderson from Barazza. Kyle, you've got something new to show us here. It's going to be out when? It's going to be out June 15th. And it's what? The Sete 30, which is the latest model in our Sete family. Okay. We started out with the 270, the 270W, and now we're bringing the Sete 30 to market. Um, and it's kind of round out the range. Okay, and now what's the, what's the 30 all about, right? A little different than well, the 270s? It's a lot different than the 270, but it's a lot similar too. I mean, yeah. the, the, the basic magic of the grinder, the, the, the innovative grinding mechanism is identical in both units. Right. So it's an Etzinger thing. Uh, we're, we're using, um, let me see, I could, I could show real quick. One yeah. of the most unique things about this grinder uh, from any other grinder in the market is it's just straight through grinding. There's uh, the outer burr is what rotates. The mm -hmm. inner burr is fixed. So and with all of our other grinders and with all our conical burr grinders in the market, the inner burr is what spins. Right. And and that's the real magic of this grinder, which 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 changes all sorts of uh, uh, performance characteristics. So very fast. Very fast. Very low retention. Very low retention. Yeah. And uh, very accurate too, right? Yeah. I mean, and, and so now you've got a different burr here on the 30 as compared to the what's on the 270s, right? Yeah, and tell we, us about uh, that. The, the market we're really going after, uh, at least in America with this grinder, is the, uh, it, it's kind of close to what the Virtuoso is. It's a, it's a really phenomenal, not quite entry level, but almost, uh, yeah. uh, for manual brewing. Okay. So the, the grinder does not have the expensive macro micro features that, that like the 270 has got, where you've got 270 um, different adjustments Settings. you can use. So the 270 is more like if you're doing espresso, you're doing this espresso, is where you want to go. You really, you know, depending on your machine, you're, you're going to need the capability to really fine tune right. it. So the micro adjustability is, is really critical for that. This grinder, just as with a Virtuoso, you can make an espresso with it. Right. But you, you might find that number five is a little fine and number six is a little coarse. And so you're kind of... Not quite the yeah, accuracy yeah, that yeah. you need for espresso. I mean, espresso. it's doable, but it's not, quite, it's not quite so easy and not so, quite as reproducible, yeah. So more oriented for drip, pour over, press. Yes. yes. Those kinds of brewing. Yeah, okay. yeah. So uh, the other thing is, let me grab a, a bin here real quick. Excuse me, let me grab this. Okay. The other thing is uh, the, the grinder doesn't have um, all of this convertible uh, mechanism here for switching between a portafilter, uh, right. you can use a bin, or you can push this in and, and you can then put a portafilter in and grind hands-free. Mm -hmm. This grinder is really for filter brewing, you don't need a place for a portafilter. So we've, we've spared the expense and we've gone to, um, to just using a, a bin, which has got our special anti-static material. Okay. So you grind into this for filter coffee, and then you would just pour that into here. You can also put like a V60 right on here. Yeah. A Hario, yep. and you can grind directly grind right into, that. into that. You can even grind directly into an AeroPress. There's enough height here for that. To get the, okay. Yeah. And let's talk about, so you can do timed grinding on this? Yes, it's timed grinding. We have uh, a, a digital timer, mm -hmm. see here. It's pretty difficult to adjust. You push the up button to go up, <laughs> that button to go down, and then um, let me open the uh, bean stopper. So it's very fast. The, the grind is very controlled. Doesn't spray mm -hmm. all over the place. And part of the difference with the burrs here was to get a better, like, you know, grind for with less fines, right? Yes, we're looking at, at more of a, of a um, uh, kind of an ideal particle distribution for doing pour over coffee. So you don't want the fines. Which the is controlling is, the fines. Yeah, the burr is yeah. capable of doing an espresso. Right. But when you go towards the coarser grind, we've eliminated a lot of the fines that we've got in this burr. Okay. Uh, to really, to really 
make it more tailored for the manual brewing and pour over stuff. And if I'm doing pour over and I, you know, I want 20, 21, 22 grams for my pour over I'm doing, how accurate is the, is the time grinding with this grinder? You know, I, I can't give you a, a, a specific plus or minus, but it, it, it's around Very two good. tenths of a gram repeatability right. um, based on time. So Very good. Now obviously when you switch beans, if they have a different density, You've got to kind of start over again. Right. But the, the grinding speed on the grinder is, is very fast, about three and a half grams a second at espresso, uh -huh. and around five and a half grams a second when you're doing for pour over. So That's it's very <laughs> quick. So, I mean, a lot of people are going to do, you know, maybe 28 grams for a, for a Hario or a V6 City sort of thing. Right. Um, you know, you're, you're talking about five gram, five seconds of grinding time. Right. That's so it's awesome. really quick, really quick. Uh, okay, so that's a, that's a Sete 30, yep. and we're thinking June? We're talking about mid June. Mid June. Yeah, okay. and the price point is uh, is around two forty nine. Is the map for this grinder, which is just a little above where the Virtuoso is at two twenty nine. All right, Kyle, thank you so yeah. much for showing us the thirty. All right, thanks. appreciate it. Want to learn more? Subscribe now so you'll know about the latest videos on everything coffee from Whole Latte Love. Oh.